Hello YouTube, Jar of Bricks here with another update. You'll notice that um, I completed uh, the preparation of the new road system in my city. I'm just awaiting some roads. I do have three packs and I've got another five packs on the way. And I've got a few of the um, 2021 sets which come with some roads um, to go in there as well. I'm just waiting on Lego to send me them as I am also waiting for the new police station to arrive. Um, so I thought I'd use the time to prepare for them. But as you know, my elevated rail was previously on the existing road system. So I had to lift it all up and readjust it. And because um, the uh, train station in this far corner was hovering over the corner plate, I had to uh, completely redesign that and move it because uh, it was on that corner. Um, hovering over but it won't work with a new road system so um, I've just put it here temporarily on a road base plate the old road base plate and if you remember the uh, what's it called the museum was there which I've moved over there but I will get there in a minute so just going back around this is the side that I have been working on mostly putting those uh, row plates in I think it looks really smart I'm really impressed with the way they look so I'm pleased that I have transferred well in the process of transferring I've just got some normal base plates down there temporarily. So with this river or canal that I've put in, uh, what I did is I just cut the board down slightly and painted it just so that it was a little bit lower, although it is only uh, what 10 mil lower than it was previous. Um, but I like to see uh, the water a little bit lower than the plates above. Um, so I've just tiled all of this area with um, pedestrian uh, walkways and uh, put a little bit of a, a pattern on. I did a vote on Instagram whether um, you preferred this type of uh, pedestrian walkway or the profile brick with the brick pattern on the side side on in the mills fashion but you all voted well it's very close actually it's 52 percent in favor of this so we are in a democracy in this city so that's what i went for and um, put these little uh, flower beds in as well each with a different color and because of the new road system i have expanded chinatown so it's just got that little bit bigger. Eventually I will be removing um, probably both of these and um, it's expanding Chinatown. I'll get that building there and just turn it this way so we can have the new Chinese garden set in there and possibly that wall thing. I don't really know if I want to put that in there. I'm not sure yet. Uh, looks a bit rubbish, I think, but we'll see. Not sure where I'm going to put all of these lights yet, so I'm just putting them there, as with the uh, traffic lights as well. Just waiting to find a location for them, but I always get all the road plates in place first. So let me just go around to the other side. So from this side, up to the elevated rail, I had to uh, move it slightly because the, as I said, the corner uh, base plates for the old road system would have a few studs which was able to support, but because uh, that is no longer there, I had to just uh, uh, move it up slightly, which did cause a bit of a, a gap over, if you can see that um, double support there. That's because I had to get a eight stud piece to go in there. So uh, 
I finished all that off really like the way it looks and then Chinatown I've just expanded it here bought the uh, the two displays out I'm struggling to hold this properly so I'm not quite sure what the camera's looking at uh, moved the gateway to Chinatown out a little bit eventually I do want to have the gateway oh, I can't pick it up because it's stuck down um, across here it's not quite big enough at the moment it needs to be uh, four studs wider or two I can't remember and um, so uh, once I get the other Chinatown sets well the garden set to go there um, I will look at that again but for now that will do for Chinatown so coming around here I uh, want a continuation of this wall and uh, going to have a similar to the pedestrian area here come across right the way down here it works out about 10 studs um, so uh, be quite good to put some kind of market stalls along here I was thinking about in fact I don't know if I can see from here but if you see those mini modulars there, there's four of them uh, which previously was my street market which I'm in the process of changing slightly. Um, think about bringing them over here. They should squeeze in. I might have to adjust them, make them a little bit smaller than they are already. Um, but yeah, so I just need some. I've ordered some plates to go down here, and I've got another road plate pack coming today. And as I said Lego have got uh, one as well. I was looking at these. These are all of the ramps that you get. So I've got lots of spare ones. So I was thinking about making a wall, which would be there. I just don't know if it looks a bit boring. I don't know, but that's the idea anyway. So I was just, I was just playing around with that. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it uh, because by the end of this, I'm going to have tons of these left over so I've got to try and find something to do with it um, I made this mock the other day pizza shop I demolished my previous Pepe's pizza one as you can see there's no um, back to it let me just get it out please don't fall apart so inside, as I said, nothing in there. So the previous one did have a bit of an apartment and some restaurant tables as well. I can't quite see there, but it's just a bit of a table. Pizza, people sitting down eating pizza. Um, I like the dark red and dark green uh, brick on the side the pizza sign I'd like to have that a square to make it look like a proper P but I didn't have it in a square so I had to go with what I had which still says pizza you can still read it um, and then you've got the two windows from Peppy's Pizza they were the previous um, Spider-Man um, what was it the Sanctum Sanctorium set that came with that and then just got the menu on a board here and that's it so really pleased with the, the way that turned out so my previous one has been dismantled so uh, I think uh, that looks better than the old one did um, at this moment in time please don't fall apart it's just going to go there uh, waiting for the new roads and eventually it's going to go where those two those smaller buildings are over in that corner and um, not next to the shrimp shack because the shrimp shack is the same dark tan brick so I want to have a build in the different color between them and here with the roads as you can see I've just been putting the old road plates underneath I'm going to focus on it the old road plates underneath 
is to raise it slightly and I think that is it oh no I didn't I did I did change this as well um, so I've changed the color of this building and it did say cafe in yellow writing I've changed it to a DIY shop as I thought the cafe was a bit big anyway and I've changed the brick from uh, what was it the it was the same color as the friends um, so I've just changed it to the turquoise one which is from the le leftover parts from the um, building that was next to birch books so I just think it looks nice with the contrast of the different color buildings around it and that's it so thank you for watching Harper's sitting watching me thank you for watching uh, and getting to this point actually one thing I haven't shown you is the internals of that tower there that I made but while I'm over here um, I did extend this lighting system now to go right the way around here and also it goes under the table as well and that's because eventually when I get around to it this is going to be uh, the back cave and it's going to be multiple layers eventually with the Wayne Tower uh, Wayne Mansion uh, on the top here so that's a long-term plan but anyway let me go over to the um, skyscraper one moment so I've not got much reception yet going up we've got a little office block office uh, furniture filing cabinets printer little cubicles more filing cabinets another printer more cookies letters different type of desks there conference room for the big wigs and then the boss's room with a globe bookshelf cabinets couch and then i haven't put anything in these little small ones here and that's it so thank you for watching please if you haven't already subscribe particularly if you like the content and i will see you next time hopefully my orders from lego will have arrived i would have got most of these roads finished and uh, the police station will be in that location there okay goodbye